Hello Taurus, how are you? I hope you're doing well as usual and welcome to my channel. Taurus, if you are new here, this will be a general reading, okay, for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. So if you have Taurus in any of those placements in your chart, this is just probably the reading for you, okay? Keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they're general, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Don't try to force or fit anything. And the best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if a title catches your attention, okay? Uh, that's why they're, they're timeless so it doesn't matter when you watch them there's no time frame no time limit okay do feel free to browse my channel you might want to check some of the other readings that I've done for you and don't just focus on your Sun sign you might want to check your other placements see what other signs you have in those placements sometimes your uh, messages come stronger from there so you might want to check some of the other signs well depending on the ones that you have um, some of the readings that I've done for those, okay? Please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's the best way to support a channel. And I do enjoy seeing feedback from my viewers. And last but not least, Taurus, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, or if you would like to make a kind donation, support my channel through those means or maybe even just you know reach out and contact me for any specific reason all the info is in the description box down below remember that's the only way you can contact me there's no other way and i do not reach out to anyone offering my services so please be aware of any scams all right taurus all right give me a second let me just channel your energy here yeah, that's better. Okay. Okay, Taurus, the heart of the matter, what this reading will be about for some of you or the current energy that you're dealing with or will be dealing with soon. Judgment. So there's a higher calling here. Okay, it's time for you to answer something. You could be uh, already seeing the messages, feeling something. You know, it's you're starting to. Sometimes we get anxiety, or other type of symptoms. You know, when we feel that we have to. To to do something about something. Okay, um, listen to your intuition, please. But you know, or you will be told that it's time to you will feel it or you are starting to feel this okay it's time to rise shine move away from the old something has to be left behind here okay you've outgrown this it's uh you know it could be an old way of doing things or just you know a situation whatever it's not meant for you to stay here anymore you're about this close to close the cycle for a new beginning the energy that's crossing you, and it could be a challenge or a blockage, is the Six of Swords, okay? Okay, no, you're not on the right path yet until you answer this call and you start moving. But it is, you have to, and it's becoming a challenge for you, okay? It's time for you to move to calmer waters, to something better, something even more promising, I feel or hear somehow um taurus uh yes it's time for you to 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 put yourself on the right track here but it seems that maybe some of you just don't want to or you're having a hard time accepting it i don't know the energy is crowning in your conscious mind you are aware of this this is probably constantly probably you're always constantly thinking about this hermit virgo energy so it seems that you are aware of this or you when you will be but you're gonna have a hard time moving away from it you know you have to be led follow your inner light you know you're with, you're wise enough. You know you've been through a lot. Taurus. 
it's time to answer this calling. But you're having a hard time. It's something about, you know, Could it be that you're having a hard time humbling down and accepting that you have to move on, move away? I don't know, but you're, ha you're having a hard time putting yourself on the right path here. The energy that's below you, your subconscious mind, you're not aware of this, okay? You should, energy that's, you know, your divine higher self is trying to tell you this or divine spirit they're all trying to tell you this nine of swords don't make it harder it's not as hard as it seems you're making it harder than what it is you're stressing over something that you shouldn't be stressing about Yes, you are. Also, if you, like I said, if you are getting some anxiety symptoms or, you know, panic attacks or something, it's because that's your higher self telling you that it's time to, to answer this calling. It's the only way that you're going to set yourself free from all that stress, okay? You have to accept that it's time to put yourself in the right path. Be humble about it and accept this having to move on, okay? Behind you, recent past or where you're coming from or what you're leaving behind or maybe you're abandoning this or it's the energy that's pushing you through this. Let me see, what is this? Well, I'm sorry, King of Swords, okay? Strong divine masculine air energy. Maybe some of you are dealing with an air, air, air sign. And it doesn't matter what gender it is, it's just the energy that embodies, okay? Very divine masculine. It could be that, you know, someone that is very, you know, um, could be very rigid by the way they express themselves, by the way they think, you know? But if not, this could be you learning to be true and loyal to yourself and accepting, you know, starting to see things in a different way and understanding this, time to do something about this. And that it's time to maybe cut something out of your life. Okay? So take it as a resonance, whichever both, you know. But, uh, if you're leaving behind this behind it's someone that is uh, uh, pretty much in that energy of you know very it doesn't have to be necessarily bad but it's maybe just the type of person that you just don't want to be with or not person uh, environment or energy whatever you know uh, too rigid maybe because you could be in a work environment where maybe things are just too rigid, you know? And maybe you don't like it. Maybe you would like an environment where things are a little more flow, more free flowing, okay? Take it as it resonates, okay? But if not, this is just you understanding and see energy that's pushing you through this, that. You have to be true and loyal to yourself and really ask yourself, what do I want? Where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? Maybe this thing. Maybe some of you don't know where to go. Maybe some of you are afraid of starting to figure that out that, well, if I leave this situation, where am I going to go? You know? Well, it's a very natural question, Taurus, but uh, that's something that you have to figure out, out later, one way or another, you know? Sometimes we get stuck in comfort zones. That's, you know, the tombstone. 
become our, our comfort zone, but we outgrow them and then they're not as comfortable as they're as they used to be. So uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. You have to face this situation and uh, be true and loyal to yourself about it. In front of you, where you're headed to, what's coming towards you in your future for some of you, Four of Cups, okay. You know, if you stay in this energy, that's what's going to happen to you. Just right off the bat, first, beginning with that, you know. You're going to be always in this discontent energy, bored, you know. If, I mean, really? You want to stay there? If it's work environment, I don't, I don't even think the pay is that good. If it's a relationship, maybe even the sex isn't even that good. I don't know. Okay. But Taurus, um, you have to leave this energy of discontent, of not being happy, of how things have um, manifested for you, how things have turned out for you. Okay. You're just focusing on the Nach energy. Something new is trying to come in here for you. You're not, not interested. You're very disinterested in this. Very, very unsatisfied with everything. It's how you see yourself or how you're responding or should respond to a situation or the energy that represents you. Eight of Swords, okay? So yeah, you are tied down to something, you know, where you should be, you know? But you should break free from this. I do get a sense it's very mental energy, actually. You don't have to put up with this. Okay, Taurus, you can set yourself free. You can leave this behind, you can do it. But you have to be clear with what you really want. That's the problem and I don't think, I think that's part of the issue here. Because a Six of Swords is what's blocking you. Maybe you do want to move out of this, but you just don't want to, you just, you're just not sure what you really want aside of this. Does that make any sense? I hope it does for some of you. This is the energy that's surrounding you and it's influencing you. Maybe even supporting you. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Taurus, this is about, you know, staying balanced. Just keep doing your magic. Have faith. Oh, some of you are being called to do this because you are ascending. It's like you're becoming a better version of yourself here. You are purging some old energies. You see, you are, see how he's cleaning that water? It's like carefully so that all the sediments stay in one cup, and then you throw them out and then again, purifying water, purifying your energy. You know, that's part of the situation. This is to purify your energy so you can ascend. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, you're rising, you are ascending. You have to have faith. It's about alchemizing your energy here. Doing some strong inner work. So yeah, you've been called to do this because you know it's. I think it's the same angel. I believe it's the same angel. Color of the wings. Could be I don't know Gabriel, Michael, Seraphim. I don't know. But it seems that this the same an energy that is trying to you know pull you to purify, to cleanse your energy, to rise and become a better version of yourself. But you have to address something within you. 
Hopes and fears, seven of wands. I think some of you are tired of putting up with something. Fighting, maybe even fighting back, you know. Having to defend yourself. It's almost like a survival mode. Having to explain and, and, and you know, maybe even give excuses. But the thing is this, you don't see it. You are on a higher level than these other energies or whatever you're dealing with. You're on a higher ground. You don't have to uh, keep fighting back. It's just like struggle. Do you, sometimes some of you might feel judged by someone or something, you know, questioned, criticized. You're just fed up with it. You don't want to put up with this anymore. It's not that you, if you fear it, but you're just done with it. Yeah, outcome or advice, the tower. Scorpio energy, and we just entered Scorpio season. You know, I just did Aries and it's pretty, you know, very similar energy. If you're causing a tower, do it. It's time. Don't be afraid to do it. And if not, you know, if a tower moment has to come and everything has to fall apart for you, let it happen. It's for you. It's divinely meant for you. It's part of a purge. Very strong energy. Jeez, this eclipse, you know, in Libra. Uh, right after Libra, then we enter Scorpio. And this is like the aftermath of all this energy. <laughs> Um, let let things let things happen. You can't prevent it. Just be prepared. Be ready for a big change in your life. But you have to, yeah. Keep uh, be clear with what you want what you truly want from now on. Stop stressing, okay? Just move. You... You can do it. You can get yourself in a better, in a better position, in a better place. You can... In the right path. Stop uh, staying in this uh, discontent comfort zone energy it's not meant for you anymore you have to you have to get unstuck it's part of it's part of your path to clean energy it's part of the cleaning process of your life knight of wands fire energy Yes, and decisiveness. Be clear with what you want, please. <laughs> okay, for some of you, it's like I started that way, okay? So I gotta say it. Stop fucking around. It's time to get things done, okay? Um, it's time to do it right, Taurus. Yeah, stop screwing around. King of Wands, stand up and take action. And there's your Ten of Cups. Happiness, emotional fulfillment. So yeah, you gotta be true and loyal to yourself about what you really want here. And it's time to answer this calling, okay? You know you're strong, you know you're wise. The hermit energy. You know you are seeking answers from deep within. Or you know you have to do that. Okay? So that you can uh, figure out where you want to go, what you want to do. From here on. But don't... Uh, 
don't fear the tower. Let things, let this tower moment happen. Let, let the whole foundation fall apart. Okay, it's a purge. It's a cleaning, clean, cleaning uh, face for you in your life. It might be painful. It might be scary, but you are protected. That is for sure. I can see that you are protected because you're being called to do this to begin with. Divine wants you to trust and have faith in it. Okay, let's get additional messages or warnings or whatever it is that I might be missing regarding this reading and then I'll send you off your way. Got the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, the Death Scorpio energy, more Scorpio energy. Big changes. What else would you like to tell Taurus regarding this reading or situation, please? If there's something important that they need to know, if there's something that I'm missing, or if there's a warning, what would it be, please? Down, no. okay. Ten of Swords, bottom of the deck, okay? It's right after the Nine of Swords. Stop stressing. And uh, yeah, so don't self-sabotage yourself here. It's the ending. Um, once this tower moment comes in, for some of you, you're gonna go into this Ten of Swords, be ready for it, okay? But it's the end, it's the last sword. Then you'll have your new beginning, okay? But please, don't self-sabotage yourself. Don't self-betray yourself. Okay. Stop screwing around. Be clear with what you want from now on. Got the full card. It's a new beginning. You still have Scorpio, Scorpio, a, a death card, you know. And we have the tower. Judgment is just right, you know, we're about this close to, I said at the beginning, you're about this close to close the cycle. You're being called to take a leap of faith, to have a new beginning. Taurus, okay? Yeah. Okay, Taurus, let's close the reading with the Spirit of the Animals deck, and then we'll, I'll send you off your way. So you can uh, start putting the hard work here. What else would you like to tell Taurus regarding this reading with the Spur of the Animals deck? Okay, one more. Yeah, good. What else do you want to tell Taurus, please? You got the raccoon inventor. Taurus. I mean, like really decide on what you really want. I mean, really, it says right there. If you want to, you can Google the image, this car or something. If I close it, this damn thing doesn't all the folks. That's the first line. Decide on what you really want. You have the ingenuity to claim it. Yeah. That seven of wand energy in your hopes and fears. Okay. Something about claiming also. Okay. You might have to fight for this. You might be a little lazy about it. Maybe you're like in this sense of apathy of uh, might as well give up. No, don't. Okay. Okay. That's for some of you. Avoid being the trickster and practice integrity. That's what I said, and it's not, it's about being the trickster to yourself, betraying yourself, okay? You have many roles and can juggle them well. Okay, that's good.
Yeah, you can move on, uh, Taurus. You can do it, but you have to decide. You have to really be clear with what you really want. Okay? Okay, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there for you. I hope this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance and support and answers that you are seeking at this moment of your life, okay? If you do like it, if you enjoyed it, please do hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much from the bottom of my heart. And Taurus, I hope to see you next time. And as usual, please stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye, Taurus.